I'm Jessica Lombard, Associate Superintendent. And I'm Superintendent John Berkey, and this is Huntley 158 Today. Well, one of the things that's gone on in our district over the last five years is we have made the migration to being what we term a one-to-one -one district, which means one device, a uh, computer device for every student. And Dr. Berkey, that has really changed the face of the, the education and the instruction that's happening in all of our classrooms. It has, and we were really one of the first districts to do one-to-one -one on a large scale. And what people don't see is there is a lot of backbone that goes into the infrastructure to make one-to-one -one be successful, certainly with the quantity of, uh, of students that we have. Because today, every one of our students, kindergarten through 12th grade, uh, has uh, his or her own device. Well, we have two of those individuals here that support um, our technology in the district. We have Chris Basinski, who is our Director of Informational Technology, and Joe Fullman, who is our, one of our mobile techs, who is over at the high school this year. So welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. Can you guys tell us a little bit um, about your backgrounds that um, are in technology or in education, and what drew you to this field? Sure. Um, I've worked in education now for, I'm in my 14th year, um, and really what drew me to the education field is, is helping the students, um, help the students learn how to more effectively use technology to advance their own education, to play more of a role in, um, in their own learning. Um, so they can use the technology that we have available now to, to supplement what they get from the teachers in the classroom um, to, to really answer their own curiosities. Um, I'm a uh, U.S. Navy veteran and uh, my time in the Navy I uh, did a lot of technology there and also learned a lot through growing up uh, about technology so uh, coming out of the Navy I was looking for a job that was uh, tech, uh, technology as well as looking for something because I value education very highly so when, uh, when this district came up I just jumped right on. It's a perfect blend of both of those there. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, Chris, about the, the scope of what we're dealing with in, sure. this, in, in this district. Um, as you mentioned up front, uh, being a, a, a unit district, all of our students, kindergarten through 12th grade, all have um, a one-to-one -one device of their own that, that is issued to them. And on top of that, all of our staff members, all of our teachers have laptops. Many of our staff members have devices as well. All totaled, we're between 11 and 12,000 total devices that we support on a day-to-day -day basis. So Joe, you are one of the people on the ground over at the school, at our largest school, over at the high school. Walk us through what does a typical day maybe look like for you, working with the students and the teachers to make sure that they have that technology to uh, get them through the day? Yeah, students come in uh, for various different issues that they might find uh, damaged devices or uh, um, technology isn't working into the specifications that they are looking for or just sometimes it's just small things that they uh, have questions about so when they come in um, I'm able to assist them as best I can if I'm not able to um, I have another teammate that I'm able to work with and I'm able to also work with other higher level tech uh, techs to sort of answer those questions for us so one of the topics that's been in the news a lot are these these viruses that are infecting really top-notch networks at big corporations uh, uh, ransomware is you know, one of the one of the things that's out there. How do we protect against uh, stuff like that as a school district? And you know, in answering that, is is a lot of our stuff hosted locally, or is it a lot of web-based? Um, go ahead and explain that. We actually have most of our systems are in fact web-based. Um, we do have a few that are still here in the district um, that that we keep uh, in our own data centers here. Um, but in terms of, of protecting ourselves, we do everything we can to, to make sure we're staying up on virus protection on, on computers that that's appropriate for. Um, really educating our staff on how to, to be aware of the risks associated with things that come through email. If the email looks a little fishy, treat it as a, as a suspicious email. Ask us um, if you're ever unsure uh, of the content of an email, those sorts of things. Um, we have a, a solid backup and recovery program in our district, so should we have any issues, um, we're confident that we should be able to, to recover from them in a, in a pretty expedient fashion. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, never a sure thing. We try to do the best, the best that we can um, with, with the, the resources that we have, and we just make sure that we're testing those systems and making sure they're ready for us when we need them. 
So one-to-one, -one, every student has their device um, to facilitate through their learning in the classroom. What's the biggest challenges that your department has to ensure through the year, through the day, that they are able to continue their learning? To me, I think one of the biggest challenges is just the scope of it all. I mean, if you, if you think about what we said, I mean, nearly 10,000 students and every student with a Chromebook, and every student can use that Chromebook differently. Um, they, they can do things uh, to, to advance their own learning that would be different from the student next to them. Uh, making sure that the, the devices are able to handle the vast majority of those differences um, really affords the students the opportunity to leverage the technology for, for how they see it being used best. So Joe, as we said, you're on the front line at the high school. What are the most common issues that are occurring when students come to you with a tech, technical problem? Usually the most common ones are, uh, as a lot of students pro probably protest, it would be the, uh, the Wi-Fi issues. Um, okay. luckily so like the trouble the, connecting or yeah, something like that, yeah. okay. And uh, recently, especially this year, we've had a lot less of that because our Wi-Fi uh, capabilities have been vastly increased with uh, new access points in all the buildings. So it hasn't been so much of an issue so far this year, which is, fingers crossed, hope it keeps that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, what else do they? Uh, usually, uh, other issues are, um, you know, personal damages. Sometimes they'll, you know, lose a key, so they'll come down and have a key replaced. Uh, sometimes some cracked screens, which uh, it's not been so bad so far this year, which is very good at the beginning of the school year, especially coming after the summer where they set in their backpack. You know, people really don't think about technology until it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the real strengths of, of our department is obviously there's times when something doesn't work, but for the most part, it really does operate seamlessly in the background. And uh, I think our department um, has done a great job of implementing one-to-one -one and you know we're going continuing to uh, go on to the next phases and make sure our devices are current etc and uh, you know very proud of the fact we do all that in-house mm -hmm. and we have a great uh, a great team that works with that so thank you for everything you do uh, for the district and ensuring that all of our students uh, have their devices to learn on every day no problem no problem. thank you very much yeah, thank you for I joining do. us and thank you for joining us at Huntley 158 today if there are future guests you'd like seen on the show, topics you'd like discussed, or just a question you'd like answered, please reach out to us at our district Facebook page or Twitter, hashtag Ask158. Until next time.